Hi guys, it's Tanya here. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to make this video because I'm going to be showcasing part two of the fall collection for Stella and Dot. And I thought the last one was amazing and this one is even more amazing. I keep saying that every time I make a video <laughs> that they're amazing, but they just keep you know, outdoing themselves in terms of the pieces. They are gorgeous. So I'm looking forward to showing them to you. Before I jump into the pieces that just launched in early September, I do want to show you a few pieces from the last uh, fall launch, which happened in July, uh, that I grabbed afterwards. And that is the Renegade Statement Necklace. And that is this beauty here. I didn't initially grab this one um, because I have a similar necklace to this already. It's called the Mercy. If uh, some of you Stella Dot fans are um, know of the Mercy, you know that it has these spikes and it's got pink threading throughout uh, rhinestones. But this one actually is a little bit different in terms of the mixed metal. It's got the hematite chain here. So it's a little bit more edgy, more rocker chick look than the Mercy. The Mercy, I think, is definitely uh, a more feminine um, piece, where this one, I feel that you can totally rock it with like a nice graphic tee. So I thought I'd just grab it and just to see if I was going to like it. And of course, as <laughs> soon as you see the pieces in person, you fall in love with them. So this is the Renegade Statement Necklace. And in true Stella and Dot fashion, you can wear this two ways. So this is one way, wear it together, or you can take the strands apart and just wear this by itself, or wear this. I, you can't wear this piece alone. So the, the two ways are wearing it all in one, as one piece, or just wearing the multi uh, chains here by themselves. Definitely could layer it with some other necklaces as well. So this is the Renegade Statement Necklace. Put on a leather, black leather jacket, a t-shirt, you're good to go. I think it's a really pretty piece. So these earrings I got after my last video, so I want to show them now. And they are the Oya oh yeah in sequin. These are so, so pretty. I think they are much better in person. So as you can tell, it's all sequin. Let me take one out for you. This is what the back of it looks like. It's on this uh, hematite uh, colored metal. And if you can see the detail, super light as well. And I call these like the chameleon earrings because they literally go with everything. Every color that you put on, it goes with it. It's really, really a nice pair of earrings to own in your wardrobe especially if you like statements. These are definitely a statement earring. So if you're more into delicates, then these are not your cup of tea. But if you are loving statements, then you've got to own these pair because like I said, they go with everything. So I've worn it with like a green top and blue and like a bright fuchsia pink, white, jean, you name it. This is like a salmon color top and it looks really nice. So this, you might remember they have these in the uh, pearl, the Oya oh yeah pearl. And then they came out with this version, which is the sequence of all these different colors. So it's really, really pretty. Okay, now let's hop into the fall pieces that launched this month. Oh my goodness, you guys, they are gorgeous. It was really difficult to 
narrow them down to my favorites. In the end, I happened to make several orders um, because it was just too hard to uh, make a decision on which piece to get. So um, there is a lot here. I got most of the collection. There are a few that I didn't, but most of it is here. And I hope that it will help you choose the pieces uh, for yourself. So um, first of all, I'm going to start with bracelets. If you remember in the last launch, they came out with the Dove Wrap Bracelet in the gray, and now they've come out with it in black. So this is what it looks like. It's a triple wrap bracelet, so it's very long. It's supposed to wrap three times. So you can see that it has three different uh, layers, well not layers, but it uh, has different texture throughout the band. This is like a black suede material. And then the front you can see that it's got black and silver beading. There's a gold chain there. And then here there's some shiny uh, brown stones, which are really pretty. Of course, it comes with options in terms of the clasp. So there I have it on. I just love the way that looks. It's wrapped around three times. You can see the back here. I just went across and tucked the little end there for, for smaller wrists. You'll have to tuck in the little end so it's nice and neat. So I love it. It's so, so pretty. Next, I want to show you the... Uh, the Delicate Twist Cuff. So it's a shiny gold bracelet and this is a cuff so it just goes on like that. Super easy to put on and I've seen other ambassadors style this with two others so they have ordered three all together. They have three together but I actually like it alone. Sometimes you just want tiny little bit of shimmer around the wrist and just throw this on to add a little bit of interest to your wrist. If you don't want to be bold like this, it can be delicate like this and I love it by itself. Of course, it can definitely be added to an arm party, but here I'll show you in closer up what it looks like. The detail, the design is so neat how they twisted the metal. So the uh, chief designer of Stella and Dot, Blythe Harris, had uh, come up with the design by working with a wax material and twisting it and then figuring out like a nice way to come up with this design. So along with this, they did come with a more, a bolder cuff. So that's this one here. It's like a statement twist cuff. That's what this one is. So you can see that it is one piece, but it looks like three. Three twisted. You can see the inside there. See how it's twisted? It is so cool. And it's just one that you slip on. And it's a bit ma malleable, so if you need to tighten it a bit, you can do that by squeezing it. And another super easy way to dress up your outfit. Next, I have the Statement Stretch Bracelet, and that is this one here. So again, it gives the illusion that you have a bunch of bracelets, but it's actually just one, and it's a stretch, stretch bracelet. So you just pull it over your wrist like that, and I just love it. It's it's more of a um, not a shiny gold, but more of a vintage gold. And then it's got throughout it these uh, baguettes. So it's really not super shiny, but it has a little bit of uh, interest to it. So it's another beautiful piece. And you could also throw that delicate twist. Just add it there. 
And my favorite bracelet that they came out with is the Power Pearl bracelet. And that is this one. Again, it's another wrap, uh, but this one is uh, metal. It's a metal wrap, whereas the other one was the, the suede material. So this one is, and again, it's got uh, different textures throughout it. This one has these tiny little pearls intertwined with this uh, gold chain that has these spikes uh, throughout it. And then we have a gold link chain with black leather intertwined through it. And then the last piece is this really cool looking chain, again, with the spikes. So it's a very edgy, feminine with the pearls. It's just, I love it. So I'll show it to you as a bracelet. So here it is, wrapped around my wrist as a bracelet. Isn't that amazing? I just love the look of it. Take a look at the different textures. Love the look of this bracelet, which by the way, can be worn as a necklace too. So let me show you what that looks like. So here it is as a necklace. And again, you can uh, play around with it. See what you like to see more. Do you wanna see more of the leather or maybe the pearls more? I like it like that. So that's the Power Pearl bracelet, another beautiful piece. Okay, so I think that is all for bracelets. Oh, no, nope. I'm sorry. There is uh, one more here to show you. Actually, there's three because they come in three different colorways. And that is the... Um, bohemian uh, beaded bracelets. So if you guys remember in the summer, they came out with the bohemian, um, the modern bohemian necklace in the blush, and they came out with the uh, pink bracelet. And to that, they added this gray, I would say it's got a gray, greens, blues type of colors in this bracelet, and then this uh, white multi uh, bracelet. So um, when you look at it closely, it's actually different shades of white. So some of the beads are more opaque than others, and some are more of a deeper white color. And I can see that this one in this light is more clear. So it's actually very pretty. And so you can just slip them on like that. It has this clasp. It's a faux clasp, so it's not actually real but it, it copies back to the necklace, but that's not real. You can't undo it. It's just for uh, detail on the bracelets. You just stretch it and slip it on. And that's the modern bohemian beaded bracelets, stretch bracelets. Okay, so, and speaking of the beaded pieces, I'm gonna show you the new uh, modern bohemian beaded necklaces they came out with and that is in the white again it matches back to the bracelet it's this one here and the detail at the end is the julia coin some of you might be familiar with our julia coin necklace comes in a gold chain with this uh, coin hanging down and then they've now added the coin to this uh, beaded beaded necklace and the gray one looks like this so it has this horn uh, detail at the bottom there you can see so it's really pretty I think it's gonna look really nice with all the fall colors it's a it's a good neutral so I'll try those on for you this is the white multi beaded necklace with the Julia coin detail. Super pretty. Here is the gray version of it. See what I mean? It looks so nice against this color. And if you buy both or you have the blush one, uh, you can join these. 
because of the toggle clasp. You can see here it's got a circle and then you just poke this little thing through to close it like that. And because they have this toggle clasp, you can join a bunch of them and wear both of them as a long necklace. So I'm gonna put these two together. So you get this look. Of course, you can double it if you want. Here's what it looks like doubled. Give it this cool look to it with the gray and white together. Okay, next I want to show you uh, a delicate piece that I think is going to be extremely popular and that is the delicate interlock necklace and that is this one here. Oh, I got the back side of it. So it's these two circles. One is silver and it's got pave throughout. That's the back of it and the front of it is got some pave detail and then the second circle is gold with a bit of pave where the chain joins it's a silver chain so it is a multi or not multi but rather mixed metal necklace so it's a piece that you can wear with any pair of earrings it's gonna match well and it's a delicate so it's one that you can definitely um, layer with other necklaces. What do you think of that? It's really sweet. So an easy everyday necklace. I'm gonna leave that one on and I wanna show you another one. Um, in this line, actually, they extended their Pegasus collection. In the last fall drop, they extended their um, Renegade collection and in this one, it's more Pegasus. So they came out with this mini Pegasus necklace. So you may be familiar with the original uh, Pegasus bib, which is a really collar necklace that has been worn by famous people like Kim Kardashian, I believe was one of them. And of course, by the late, late uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg wore for her uh, court uh, portrait. Um, so... For those that don't like a big statement -y necklace, they came out with this one, which I think it's a really, really pretty design. Um, it has two chains. One is this really interesting uh, silver, it's like a square, it's got, it's like a square links or something. And then in this one is, it's a more normal chain, but it's a hematite, so it's a dark gray color. And then it's got the gold um, feather uh, pieces that is that Pegasus is well known for. Um, and it's backed into this black suede material. So it'll sit nice and soft against your skin. So I'm going to put it on with this piece. I'm loving all the mixed metals because it's a no-brainer. Don't have to think too much. Actually, I'm going to take this one off so you can see better what it looks like by itself. I could totally layer it. I just would have to move which hole I'm clasping it into. So there it is by itself, so pretty. That's a great one. Okay, 
I want to move to earrings because I left them blank and I feel naked without them. So I want to put some on. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to jump into the earrings that came out this drop and I'll start with the Roman chandeliers and that's these ones here. Uh, you might remember them in the summer collection. They dropped in a turquoise color and now they came out with this. Uh, it's got a lot of names. I think the site calls it mauve. Uh, some people are calling it more like a dusty rose or a tan color. So it's, it's definitely a good fall color. It's soft and I love that because it's, and I love the shape of the Roman chandelier. I think it just complements a lot of people, different shapes, hair, length like it's just one that a lot of people can wear so i'm gonna add my jean jacket because i just feel that all these pieces would look amazing with your jean jacket on see how that changes the look oh so pretty i love these okay so moving on to more statement earrings. Um, I talked about the Dove Wrap bracelet. Um, we had it in the, we have it in the gray. We also have the matching Dove earrings in the gray. And of course they came out with the matching Dove earrings in the black and gold. So if you take a look, look at the beading on this. Even in here, it's all black beads. So it's really, really pretty. I think it's also another shape that is quite flattering. So I will put these on. Here are the dove earrings in the black and gold. The gray ones are a gray um, a material with a silver diamond or square studs. These ones are gold. Another winner, I think. Okay. Um, I don't even know where to begin. They're so pretty. So I'm going to go into the burgundy uh, colored uh, earrings that they came out with this fall. And that is the Amour uh, earrings. These are so pretty and you could easily wear these into holiday as well so let me put these on these are the armor earrings they are so pretty look at these beauties again they go really great with this jean jacket don't you think i'll get a little closer Burgundy is definitely, or wine color, I don't know what you want to call it, but it's definitely a good fall color. I'll just take one out so you can see in detail. It's backed into this, um, it's like resin, this material. And then the back of it has this uh, rose gold metal. And then the front is got all these different, well, I think it's got three different sizes of gemstones throughout the earring. So it's beautiful and it's not heavy, not heavy at all. None of the earrings I've put on uh, so far have any weight to them. They're pretty light. I don't feel them on. In keeping with the burgundy theme, we have the Carmen. That's these ones. So if you remember in the summer, they came out with the poof earring. So it had this like bright pink and orange poof. This is a similar idea, but it's got the uh, more fall color chiffon pieces. This is more like um, a burgundy and a wine color. So it's really pretty. It's got two different colors, if you can see. And then the stud piece is definitely, uh, I believe the poof ones were a bigger, stud more of a statement whereas this one is more elongated also it can be converted into just the stud so you can just wear this piece alone so it is a smaller stud than the poof 
Um, but let me put them on so you can see them before I take them apart. Wow, already it has added this beautiful color to my outfit. These ones are up there for me in terms of uh, favorites. I will show you my favorites in a moment, but these ones are gorgeous too. I'll show you what the stud alone looks like. So it's got this, if you look at the back, it's got this little hook right there. Sorry, there. And then you just pull this, this little hole is what dangles into that hook. So you're left with this. And this top uh pieces like a peach color the bottom two gemstones um it's like a light peach color over here and then the side is like a little gray stone um so you can twist it any way which way that you want that's how it would normally hang with the bottom piece on but I mean you can turn it around like that even if you want to so that's the stud alone okay next we have the Esmeralda earrings and that is, is these ones here so it's a leaf detail with these um, pave stones running through the middle. I think it is a really, really cute design and it's filled with um, various colors that the blue, white, some pink, some yellows throughout it. Um, again, another earring that is like a chameleon. It's going to fit different uh, outfits and lots of different colors. It's backed into this uh, gold plate in the back of it. And I'd say that so far, these are the heaviest of all the earrings. So let me put it on. That's what that looks like. So pretty. Um, I feel the earring there, but it's not, it's not bothering me. Like I don't... Uh, not hurting I'm conscious that they're there but it's not really bothering me so if you are super sensitive to weight I would say these are like a medium weight so um, maybe these aren't the ones to pick up because like I said these are the heaviest ones so far but I think Stella and Dot does a really good job of trying to make sure that their earrings are not statement weight um, even their statement earrings are either medium weight or less. So these are, would say, medium uh, to light. Like I said, uh, for me, I am not a really good judge because I can wear fairly heavy earrings and it doesn't bother me at all. So these I love and they are actually quite popular. They are selling pretty quickly, these ones. They did come with a matching um necklace and and it's the esmeralda charm pendant and it's a long chain with that same leaf design with a few uh, charms hanging off of it so you've got pearls this really long gold piece it's really pretty and then what i really like about this is the uniqueness of the chain it's got these long pieces in between the chain, which is really pretty. So this is an easy throw on piece. So that's what you're looking at. And again, it goes really well with this colored top that I chose today and this jean jacket. 
that is the Esmeralda pendant. So pretty. Okay, now we're getting down to the last few uh, statement earrings. Um, these are my favorites of the collection. I'm gonna start with the um, Pegasus uh, statement, Pegasus crystal statement earrings, and that's these ones here. These were a surprise hit for me. Initially, I thought they were too blingy. Um, and let's be honest, there's not too many places that we are going out these days. Um, but I sampled them just to see because with Stella and Dodd, if, they're, if you're not happy with the product that you get, you can uh, return it at no extra cost to you. So it was worth giving it a, a shot to see if this is a style that would lo even look good on me. So just to give you a closer look at it, it's got this chain detail at the top and then these crystals. And of course the uh, Pegasus feathers. Um, these ones are in rose gold and it's backed into this really soft suede uh, pink piece. So it's just very well made. Um, of course, I've seen other ambassadors style them and they look amazing with a graphic tee, um, with jean jackets. Sorry, I'm having trouble. There we go. I mean, these are a wow for sure. And with these, there's such a statement on their own, I would just wear a delicate necklace, like the interlock necklace that I had on earlier. Something like this. Um, you don't need much. These, this is all you need. But it looks really good with this jean jacket and this color that I have on. With these earrings, they did come with a matching um, statement necklace. And this is the Pegasus uh, statement necklace. So it is not as a big of a statement as the bib one that we are famous for. But this is a nice alternative. So let me put this on for you so you can see what that looks like. So here it is on, again, another piece. You could totally wear it into the holidays if you have a nice dress, but don't be afraid to wear bling with graphic tees. I mean, look how pretty that is. I would not wear these two together because they're both statement pieces. Um, I would do maybe a stud or a tiny hoop in the ears just so the focus goes to one area and they're not fighting each other. But hey, there is no right or wrong when it comes to fashion. Um, I know there are some people out there that like to be, you know, have statements everywhere and it looks great on them. For me personally, I like to just focus in one area. So for me, th with this necklace, it would be the neckline. And then I would just put a delicate or maybe even these Carmen, just the stud part of the Carmen earrings would go really nicely with this necklace. I'll take off the jacket so you can get a full view of it. I think it's beautiful. Okay, we are getting down to the last few. I don't wanna make this video long-winded, but I do wanna show you the pieces because I want you to be able to see them for yourself on a real person and then make an informed decision when you are buying your pieces online. So the other popular necklace that is um, part of this fall line is called the Double Take Horn Necklace, and that is this beauty here. It's got this beautiful chain. It's as if they had taken two thinner chains and joined them side by side to make this nice thick chain. And then it's got this beautiful horn detail with the um, pave crystals around it. But it's called double take horn because on the other side, if you flip it around, 
it's silver. So you can wear it on the silver side or the gold side. And if you are an original Stella and Dot fan, you might remember the Luna necklace, uh, which is a very similar uh, look to this. It's got this horn uh, detail, but it's on a thin chain and it's all silver. Whereas this one is silver on one side, gold on the other. So I'll put this on for you. Here it is on. It is such a beautiful piece. Definitely one that you can wear every day. And again, with the versatility with the silver and gold, you have options. So I'm gonna put my jean jacket back on. I just feel it just so that you can see what it looks like when you add layers like a jacket looks really pretty I think so down to my last couple of earrings these are by far my favorite of the line um, I'm gonna start with the um, Frida's that's these ones here Frida statement necklace um, so beautiful the craftsmanship uh, the colors just really really pretty these ones are not versatile so the the top piece doesn't become a stud or anything it's one earring so if you can see the detail all the different beadings and it's backed onto this black uh, felt material so it's really really pretty and again very lightweight I don't feel these on And when you have light earrings like this, I think it makes it easier to wear statement earrings. Um, a lot of the reasons why people stay away from statement earrings is because of the statement weight. You don't wanna be feeling it. And at the end of the day, just can't wait to take them off. But that is not the case with these ones. They are light. I have worn them already and I have gone all day and I ran my errands, I cleaned the house. I didn't even know I had them on until I looked in the mirror, uh, you know, to go wash my face before going to bed. And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot I had these on. And look how pretty they are. And again, it goes with this color, this salmon color that I'm wearing. Super pretty. One of my favorites. The next one I want to show you is called the Power Pearl Earrings, and that's these beauties. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I am a huge hoop, hoop fan. Sorry, I can't even say it. Hoop fan. So I love hoops. I gravitate towards them every single time, and they these are no exception. So they're a beautiful. I would say these are medium to light again, um, not super heavy again, but uh, you will feel them on. Again, though, by the end of the day, it's not like they're dragging your ears down or anything. They're wearable, let's put it that way. So that's what they look like. It's got this detail here and these gorgeous pearls that go right around. So I'm gonna put those on for you so you can see them. There they are, the Power Pearl earrings. Aren't these gorgeous? I love the way these look. Now I know pearls are not everybody's cup of tea and that's okay, but if you love pearls, for sure you need to grab these. Looks really good again. I, To be honest, I wouldn't know what pair of earrings to pick for my outfit today. They all look really good. Okay, so down to the last two pieces I wanna show you, and that is the uh, twist earrings they came out with in this fall collection. Um, it's uh, matching back to the bracelets that I showed you. Um, they're gorgeous. So they have the um, 
delicate twist. So this is a more thinner version. And then they have the twist hoop earring, which is a more thicker, substantial hoop. And I love both, just for different reasons. I believe the delicate one is one that you can wear every day. This one, if you are going on date night or maybe meeting up with some friends, or if you wanna make more of a statement, then you go with these ones. So I'm gonna put them on so you can see them. Here is the twist hoop earrings, the thicker version. I love these. I can't believe I don't have anything like this in my collection, but I love the detail. The twist detail is so pretty. Okay, let's see what the delicate ones look like. Here's the more delicate uh, twist hoop. Also very pretty. What kind of hoop girl are you? Do you like delicates or do you like bolder hoops? I don't have a preference. I like them both. So let me know what you guys are liking. Anyway, that is all. That was a lot to go through. So thank you for watching this till the very end. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, uh, just leave them down in the comment field and I will answer them for you. All the uh, info will be linked in the description box. And I hope that you guys have a great day. And yeah, so that is all for now. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.